I can. My name is Gina Calarco. I work for LabCorp, um, which is a laboratory services um, company in the United States, but globally it also has a drug development side where we do sponsored clinical trial work, and that's the side of the company I sit on. I'm a senior director of strategy and planning, and I sit within the rare diseases, advanced therapies, and pediatrics team. So I, what that means is I help um, develop operational strategies, how we conduct clinical protocols um, in pediatric and rare disease populations. Um, my background is I am a pediatric nurse. I began my career in the neonatal intensive care unit. Um, and most of my career has been spent in the pediatric space um, and the last almost 20 years within uh, clinical trial work. I will say I also have um, personally over the last year have joined the um, land of the unwell having a cancer diagnosis and that has contributed greatly to my personal knowledge and layered into the work I do, um, having experienced um, such a big illness and treatment pathway that isn't the easiest either. So it kind of plays into how I think about patients in clinical trials. Um, I, I'll say that I haven't always viewed myself as a leader. Um, I think I stumbled into leadership just by following my passion area of pediatrics and clinical trial work. Um, I, at various times in my career path, I made conscious decisions that were fully based on what I like to do. And in one instance, I even took a pay cut in order to get back to pediatric clinical trial work. Um, so I never, I, I truly believe that if you do what you're passionate about, it becomes easy and fun and your career pathway can open up relatively easily as it did for me. So that's kind of how I think I fell into leadership as well, was following my passion and becoming an expert in what I love to do. And that expertise has, has led to leadership roles um, in my organization and, and externally as well. Um, a lot, a lot kind of came into, I, as I said, I really feel like probably over the last five to 10 years is when I finally recognized that I'm a leader in pediatric clinical trial space and within my company and, um, what that means. So for me, um, I respond best, um, to quiet leadership and I would classify myself as kind of a quiet leader. Um, I, I'm one who's never shied away from being busy. I actually like being busy, so I've sought out um, roles that are fast-paced and busy, uh, lots of work and turnover of work, um, because that's what I tend to like to do. But as I was developing my career, that came out in the way of being a helper. Asking whoever was around if I had a, a, a quiet, time in my work day or week, um, asking others how I can help them, whether it be administrative tasks, stocking, tasks below me, tasks above me, um, just always kind of having that growth mindset to learn and to stay busy and curious um, really fed into my leadership pathway and how I lead people. Um, I, I really think those are important traits of a leader, to stay curious, to be helpful um, and mindful of the people you're working with and around, whether they're below you or above you, um, or your direct counterpart. 